Unit 5, Getting Help. James, I'd like to ask you a question. Sure thing. What? What do you think if we bring in somebody from outside the company to help with the figures? What do you mean? Well, both of us are going to be very busy with the many details of setting up a new factory. Right. And I think it's okay for both of us to admit that working with numbers is not our strong point. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Given that you and I have neither the experience or the expertise for number crunching, wouldn't you agree that it makes sense for both of us to hire an outside consultant to help with the numbers? I agree. Your reasons are solid. Well, I'm happy you agree. Can you think of anyone who may be qualified for the position? Yes, actually. How about Sue? Sue? Which Sue? It's Sue Strobel, the financial consultant. The woman who prepares our corporate taxes every year. Right, of course. Sue. Well, she's a genius with numbers. Well, why don't we call her to see if she's available? Well, I'm not sure. As a consultant, she works on a freelance basis. Okay. I'll have Anna call her to set up a meeting to see if she's available and interested in this project. James. I'd like to ask you a question. What do you think if we bring in somebody from outside the company to help with the figures? Well, both of us are going to be very busy with the many details of setting up a new factory. I agree. Your reasons are solid. Can you think of anyone who may be qualified for the position? Sue Strobel, the financial consultant. The woman who prepares our corporate taxes every year. Well, why don't we call her to see if she's available? Well, I'm not sure. As a consultant, she works on a freelance basis. <laughs> 